Hi, I'm Mike Madewell from the Technical Support Department. In this section, we'll be going over how to program the i controller. We'll be covering all the basics like set date and time, setting program start times, the station run times, the days to water, as well as extended features that you may have to set before doing the initial programming. When programming an i controller, we'll use the dial and most of the buttons. Use the dial to move from setting to setting, the arrow buttons to move about the different fields within that setting, and the plus and minus buttons to change the values being programmed. The program button is used to advance from program A to B to C and to D. We are going to start by making sure our controller is set to our preferred language, the correct units of measure, as well as the correct desired contrast. To do this, turn the dial to advanced features. The first option you'll see is Set Language. Press the plus button to select this option and use the arrows to select from the six different languages. Just move the arrow to the desired language. There is no need to press a Save or Enter key, just press the back or left arrow to return to the menu, and the selection is made automatically. English is the default language, so if that is your preferred language, you don't have to do anything. Use the back arrow button to get out of the language setting and use the down arrow to move to set units and press plus to be able to choose between English or metric. English is the default system. Go back again using the left arrow and now go down to the LCD adjust setting and press the plus button to select the contrast. The default contrast usually works for everyone, but you can adjust it to accommodate your comfort level. Another thing you might want to verify before you get started is that the season adjust is set to 100%. Season adjust is a sliding scale and it goes from 0 to 300 and allows you to adjust the runtime in the entire program for every station without having to do it individually. But you will want to verify that you're setting your stations up initially at 100% so you can make changes in the future from there. When you turn the dial to seasonal adjustment, you'll notice that it can be set to adjust each of the programs globally. This means that all the stations within a program will be affected by the percentage change. You can also set this adjustment by month, or you can delegate this function to the SolarSync sensor, which is a separate device that monitors weather conditions at your site to adjust the seasonal adjustment value. Next, we are going to set up the current time. Turn the dial to set current date and time. The year will be flashing, indicating that it is ready to be changed using the plus or the minus button. Use the right arrow button to advance to the month, and again use the plus and minus to change it advance to the day and program it as well. Press the right arrow again and here you can select AM or PM or 24 hour mode using the plus and minus button. Press the arrow again to make the hour flash and change it with the plus or minus. And do the same for the minutes. If you press the arrow again it will simply take you back to the year. You don't have to do anything else to make the time stay. You can turn the dial back to run just to confirm that the day of the week coincides with the date that you programmed. Before programming our watering schedule, let's review some terminology. A station is a group of sprinklers that are controlled by a single valve. A station is also known as a zone. A program is a group of stations that share the same watering schedule. And by schedule, we mean the days of the week on which the program will run. If all of your stations will be watering the same days and the same number of times a day, then you can program all your stations in the same program. However, if some of your zones need to be watered more or less frequently than others, then you will need to separate them into multiple programs so they can have different day schedules. Another reason would be if some of your zones need to be watered only once a day and other zones need multiple times a day. Each program can have a different start time. The start time sets the time on a scheduled day when the program will run. However, you can set multiple start times for each program, which will cause the program to run more than once. Programs A, B, and C can have up to 8 start times per day, and program D can have up to 16 start times. Remember that each start time causes all the stations in that program to run again. Let's say that you have two newly seated zones, stations 1 and 2, for example. And because it is new grass, you may need to water them on a daily basis four times a day, with the exception of Thursday, because that's our mowing day. Let's also say that you have another two zones with trees, and these areas may need to be watered only every four days once per watering day. 
Therefore, we'll need to divide these four stations into two different programs, A and B. Program A can have stations 1 and 2 with the new grass, and Program B can have stations 3 and 4 with the trees. Each program will require at least three ingredients to be complete. Those are start times, run times, and days to water. Let's get started with the start times. Turn the dial to set program start times. The display will show the first start time in program A. The first start time represents the first complete cycle of all the stations that have a run time in program A. We'll use the plus or minus button to program the time we want our system to cycle for the first time. In our case, 6 a.m. Since we want to water multiple times a day, we need to advance to the next starting time cycle so that it cycles a second time at 10 a.m. Advance to the third start time and program it for 2 p.m. And finally, a fourth start time at 6 p.m. i -Core controllers allow you to program a maximum of eight start times. Therefore, we'll make sure that the rest of the start times are turned off and showing blinking dashed lines. If you need to cancel a start time, simply press the plus or the minus button numerous times until you find the dashes, which happen to be between 11.45 p.m. and 12 midnight. The next step is going to be programming a runtime for each station. Turn the dial to set station runtimes. Here is where we assign the number of minutes that each of the stations within the program will run. Let's program 10 minutes on each of the two stations with new grass. Do this by pressing the plus or minus button. Advance to station 2 using the right arrow and program 10 minutes as well. We'll leave the rest of the stations set to zero because stations 3 and 4 will be assigned to program B since they require a different schedule. At the bottom of the display, we notice we have an actual percentage of the runtime. Since we originally set the season adjustment to 100%, the actual runtime remains at 10 minutes. But if we were to change the seasonal adjustment to 80%, then we would see 8 minutes only for the actual runtime. But the original 10 minute runtime that we programmed would still be there in the screen. The last component for program A is setting the days to water. Turn the dial to set days to water and let's program it to water every day except for Thursday, which is our mowing day. To activate a day, press the plus button and to cancel a day, use the minus button. We'll press the plus for Monday, plus on Tuesday, plus on Wednesday, and for Thursday we'll use the minus button to cancel Thursday. And for the rest of the week we'll use the plus button to activate watering. This completes program A. Now we are ready to start the process with program B. Let's turn the dial back again to set program start times and press the program button to go to program B. This time we are going to program the first and only start time at 5 a.m. Because we only want program B to cycle once per watering day, we'll leave the remaining start time set to off. Turn the dial to set station run times and because stations 1 and 2 have been already assigned to program A, we'll leave them at zero. Let's program 20 minutes on stations 3 and 4, which are the ones that correspond to the trees. Any other station should be set to zero. For the days to water, we decided that stations 3 and 4, which are only in program B, will be watered every four days. Turn the dial to set days to water. We'll use the interval mode to program this schedule. To access the interval mode, press the left arrow button while the check mark is flashing over Monday. The interval number will now be flashing. Use the down arrow to select the days remaining. This allows you to tell the controller when to water for the first time. Zero days left means that it will water on the very next watering start time. So if we have a start time tonight, after we are done programming it, it will water tonight. Otherwise, it'll simply water tomorrow. If we leave one day remaining, it will skip one day and will water on the following day. The lower half of the display gives you a chance to cancel any day of the week that you do not want water to turn on. In our example, we usually do yard work on Thursdays, so we don't want any watering to occur. So we'll set up to where it waters every four days, except if it falls on a Thursday. We do this by moving down to the day we want to cancel and press the plus button to put an X next to Thursday to tag it as a no water day. Other options available when programming the days to water is the odd and even day settings. Odd days would be the first, third, fifth, and seventh, and the even days would be the second, fourth, sixth, and eighth, and so on. You can access this mode by pressing the left or right arrow button. You can program the controller to water every even or odd day, 
And similar to the interval mode, you can also cancel any days of the week you don't want to water. Once the iCore controller is programmed, you can return the dial back to the run position and all your programming should be complete.